This special point we will call the origin, since it is the point from which the lines originate. Let's take a closer look at the origin point. We will number the origin zero. By counting five points to the right of the origin, for example, then seven points up, we reach a point which could be labeled X5, Y7. These letter and number pairs which identify the specific point are called coordinates. If we wanted to identify a point on the other sides of the intersecting lines, we would simply count in the opposite direction using negative numbers, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and so on. This system of defining points within a plane may look familiar. It is called the Cartesian coordinate system, and you may have learned about it in your early school years. The system may also look familiar if you have ever operated a CNC lathe. This is the same system of lines, points, and coordinates within a two-dimensional plane that is used to control the precise movement of a lathe cutting tool. Suppose that we want to expand our coordinate system to a full three-dimensional system. Now in order to add a third dimension, all that is needed is a third axis line. This axis line is perpendicular to the first two lines. We will call this axis line the z-axis. This third axis is combined with the first axis, the x-axis, to form a second plane, the xz plane. It is also combined with the y-axis to form the third intersecting plane. This plane is called the yz plane. This coordinate system is now extended into three dimensions. The three planes make it possible to locate any point out of the infinite number of points which theoretically exist. This three-dimensional coordinate system is the same coordinate system used on CNC machining centers. Since it allows any point in three-dimensional space to be located and defined, this coordinate system permits controlled movement in any direction to any location. Typically, the primary axes on machining centers are labeled or addressed as X, Y, and Z. Coordinates in a three-dimensional grid require three values, one for each axis or dimension. Another basic geometric shape is the circle. A geometric circle starts from a given center point.